in San Diego at his desk. Good morning, sir. You can't hear me. There he is. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. There he goes. There's the thumb. Hey, there you go, sir. How you doing this morning? Look great, look great, look great, look great. We're matching almost. Good morning. Oh, my God. Ms. Kanara over in Japan. Thank you so much for joining. Mr. Ismail. What's happening, my friend? Uh, Ms. Belinda Batiste, thank you so much for being on the call today. Ms. Caroline Baker, thank you so much. Ms. Christina, thank you so much. Mr. Daryl Ranson in Nashville, thank you, sir. Joyce Brewer in Fresno, hello. Mr. Payon out in Japan. Look at Japan. Wow, ain't that amazing? We've got people around the world calling. Mm. Ms. Marcia Carter in Fresno, thank you so much. Ms. Pat Robinson down in Oakland, California, as my dear friend Brian Baker would say, ha ha. <laughs> Miss Melissa Vaughn, thank you for joining us today. Sergio! Buenos dias, senor. Wow, down in Mexico. Man, Japan, Mexico. I love it, love it, love it. Miss Tracy Gilmore, part of the bakery organization. Miss Walker, thank you so much. Miss Castro in Phoenix, you're amazing superstar. Keep up the good work, young lady. You're amazing. Christina, thank you so much for joining. Zoe Duffy for the bakery organization, thank you so much. Miss uh, Angelina down in Fresno, y'all, man, she speaks Spanish and English. Thank you so much. My dear friend, regional director out in Las Vegas, Nevada, Mr. Brian Baker. <laughs> Mr. Harrison Mills in Fresno, thank you. Mr. Dave Culver, Culver, there you go, the professor. I nicknamed him the professor. That guy is so sharp. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, Mr. Carter, I'm sorry to say hello. Marie, thank you so much for joining us. Mr. Christopher McDowell, thank you so much. Uh, Delilah, out in Colorado. Good morning, young lady. Mr. Fernando, thank you so much for joining us on the call. Folks, we've got a great call lined up. As you know, it's Throwback Thursday. What? Throwback. What? It's what? Throwback Thursday. How many guys got a blessing out of yesterday's call? How many guys got a blessing out of yesterday's call? Let's see a show of hands out there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes, it was off the cuff. Yes, yes. Five things to say in recruiting was powerful, powerful, powerful call yesterday. Thank you all. Hey, today, you know, Stowback Thursday. Here he is. He's back. He's back. Dun, dun. Like James, but no, he's back. <laughs> Without further, let me do so. To those that have never met this young man, I got to do it properly. He is an awesome father. Uh, he's a great husband. Uh, he's one of the co-founders of what I call go-to guys. What's a go-to guy, Mr. Thomas? That means when they need something done, they go to him because he does a great job in training. He has a great way of bringing things down, so simple that we all can understand it. Uh, he's also training and explaining the marketing plan. He's a platinum regional vice president. He lives in Southern California. His business expanded in many, many countries. He's all over the United States. And here again, a dear, dear friend. And I tell you what, I just love his trainings. One of my favorite trainers. Once again, can we give a good hand, a round of applause to the great Mr. Dean Girali. Good morning, Mr. T. Appreciate that. Man, how, how, do you, how do you not start your day off uh, well, getting introduced like that. I mean, it's like, well, the world would be a completely different place if people would take a second and actually recognize the really good things that, that, that we all have, maybe instead of the opposite, you know, kind of focus on, on those things. You know, um, you know, they say that, uh, that what you focus on transpires, right? Like what you focus on comes to fruition over time. And, uh, you know, the feelings mutual, you guys know this, uh, that, you know, my hope for you all is that you do not take uh, uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, his, his time, his effort, uh, his knowledge, and how about this, his energy. Something I talked with my regional directors about yesterday. I'm only gonna talk about this for a second because one of the things that I realized is this, is for Mr. Thomas to put together a group like this, it is that I think it is one of the obligations of the teacher to not have to continue to spoon feed you things that I know you know, right? I don't think, I think people have to be explained. I think people have to be taught. I think people have to be shown away. But after a while, do y'all agree with me that if you, if you did not stop tying your kid's shoes, you'd still be tying them? Like at one point, it's like, look, 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 I'm kicking you out of the crib. Figure this out. So, so that's something that I have so much respect for Mr. Thomas because he, look, at the position that he's in, he doesn't really, really need to do this to advance his business. His business has advanced to the top position in the company. But what I would also tell you 
uh, and this should not go unnoticed, those very same people, in fact, this is an important point. I'm going off on a tangent already, but let me just tell you this. The very same people that don't really need to do something like this, ironically, those are all the people who do something like this. Isn't it crazy that the people that have, have reached a position financially, they've reached a position in a company that don't really need to do a daily uh, training or a weekly training, he does it daily, that you don't really need to do a daily training for their personal income, for their lifestyle. They don't really need to do it. Those are all the people that do it across the board. The senior vice presidents across the board do things like this. That should be very telling to you guys. That should be very telling that, that, that um, when you hear someone say this to you, and then I'm going to get to my topic. When you hear someone in ACN say this to you, do I need to go? Do I need to go to the next national? Do I need to go? Do I need to be on this training? Well, the answer to the question is no. You don't need to. You'll live without it. The question is, how will you live without it in our business? And that is an important, important, important piece of information because success leaves clues. And, and those clues are very easy to see. This is not like some, this is not like some mystery. This is not some, you know, uh, murder on the Orient Express. This is not something that you got to figure out. The answers are right there in, 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 in detail. Can you be consistent? Can you stay plugged in? And can you do the things that you said you were going to do long after you hit submit on your rep agreement and you were excited to do them, right? That's the, one of the old definitions of commitment. We've heard Greg Provenzano, we've heard all the leaders talk about this. Doing what you said you were going to do long after the feeling you said it has left you. Can you do that? So just remember, and I know I've said this on many calls and I'm just going to say this again, Longevity equals credibility. This is why you have a Mr. Thomas who doesn't need to do a call, doing a call every single day. And here's one other thing about that that I hope you guys glean from this, right? And that is the energy that he has, even just introducing and saying hello to everybody. Do you guys understand? Like, like, like it's funny, I see, I see Julian nodding. Like, like the leaders get this. That kind of energy, right? is tremendously important. So here's a question for you. What kind of energy do you want your team to have? What kind of energy do you want your team to have? Listen, they're gonna do what you do. This is, this is, a, this is a business of, of, of duplication. And the energy that you put out, right, is a tremendously important factor in how to build your ACN business. Because let's look, look, look at you guys, I want you to pretend just for a second, just for one hot second, that I have the single greatest thing ever. Doesn't matter what it is, ever. And you get to be a part of it. Check this out. I have the greatest thing ever, and I'm gonna tell you about it. And I go like this. I go, hey, how are you? So, um, man, I got this thing I gotta talk to you about. I'm like, I'm really excited about it. It's, um, dude, like this is going to be like life changing stuff. Seriously. Like, can I tell you guys something? That's how a lot of people go through their ACN business. They, they, you, you can't tell if you can't, you almost can't tell if they're talking to you or they're taking a nap. Like, like, <laughs> like and, and I'm not saying I've said this in the past. I'm not saying freak your friends out with being some crazy carrot top type, type person. You're going to turn them off the other way. But what I'm saying is if you don't have a genuine level of excitement and enthusiasm about what you're doing, I am letting you know it is going to be very difficult for you to build this business because I'm talking to you as leaders. It is going to be very difficult for you to build this business. Can you build it? Yes. It is going to go tremendously slow. And you are going to have to have luck on your side because you're going to have to hope that your message and the way that you're bringing it across is going to happen to catch the right person at the right time. See, what I know is this. 
if they just see you elevated a little more than they're normally used to seeing you, if they see you elevated in your energy a little bit more than they're normally used to seeing you, then they know that something's going on. Now you got to figure out, is that energy, is that made up or is it authentic? You know how you find out if it's authentic? Start dreaming again. You know how you start dreaming again? What are the things that you want in your life? You know, we talk about this every, I talk about this on every training. The most important thing you have in ACN has nothing to do with ACN. Nothing has nothing, your most important, your most valuable asset in ACN has nothing to do with ACN. It has to do with your reason why. And if that reason why does not drive you, now for some of you, you've been in for a minute and your reason why has changed. Maybe your reason why needs to be, I am going to be the story of the person who finished what I set out to start and everybody's gonna know about it. Doesn't mean you go out bragging about it along the way. Trust me, get promoted to these positions which is something I'm going to talk about in a second, get promoted to these positions. Trust me, they'll come back to you. The no's today will be, can I join your team tomorrow? Trust me. But that's only going to happen if, if you have that reason why that's so concrete. And like I said, for some of you, by the way, for all of us, your reason why it changes. I mean, it changes over time. The reason why, look, every, let, me, let me tell you something. I am not your psychologist and I'm not your psychiatrist, but I do know this, that people don't sign up in ACN to stack gold bricks because you can't do anything with a gold brick. It's what does the gold brick represent? Does it represent the college education you want for your kids? Does it represent uh, uh, more time with your family? Does it represent retiring a spouse? Does it represent getting your dream car? Which by the way, I'm all about it. So long as you understand that that's a result of helping your team get their dream cars. Like, like, you know, the old joke about stuff like that is this, two guys walk up to a really nice car. The one guy looks at the car and goes, oh my gosh, I can't believe how expensive this is. And the other guy looks at him and goes, no, man, you just can't afford it. They made it for someone. Do y'all agree? Like the, 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 those, those, those homes, those vacations, the clothes, the, 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 the red bottom shoes, I don't even know what they're called, whatever. I'm just letting you know that they make them for someone now. I'm not saying that that should be the goal for you. I'm saying, what if that is the result of helping a whole bunch of people and building a really solid business and you had the choices to do those things if you wanted to? That's freedom. See, to me, that's freedom. Be able to take the time off from work, not have to check in with a boss, that's freedom. That's why we do this. That's why Mr. Thomas puts these calls together. So I wanted to start just by putting, getting us in the right mindset uh, before I go into what I want you guys to, to consider as up and coming leaders, I think it's tremendously important. Your reason why plays every, it, look, your reason why should impact and influence every single thing you do in ACN. Everything, if your goal was to pick 10 people in a day and you get to 11 when your goal was 10, your reason why is strong. I'm telling you, that's just how I see it. Right. And, and sometimes people don't spend enough time here because this your reason why influences everything you do. Like you guys, your reason why you're doing ACN will be the determining factor as to whether or not you go pick up some of the books that I've recommended. Right. Like, I, by the way, I didn't say get the audio book. Don't don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Like, you know, Jim Rohn always used to say the power of a well chosen word. Right. I didn't say go get the audio book. I said, go get the book. Why should you go get the book so you can start building a library? Why should you start building a library so you can become a really good student, which over the course of time, one day will make you a really good teacher. Mm. Anybody on my team, anybody on my team knows I, I do not allow people to give their books away. Don't get, don't be, look, look, listen, look, look, at, look, at, look, at, look, at, look, at. do not be in the business of loaning out books. Do not be, well, that's not being a good leader. What if my friend doesn't have $9 to go get that book? Figure out $9 to go get the book. You're just letting me know that $9 is too big of a deal for you to have success in this business. Don't talk to me about you wanting to do this. Talk to me about anything else. Do not talk to me about you wanting to be serious about ACN if you can't figure out a book. Figure it out. By the way, go mow a lawn. Like, I don't care. Do what's required to get the education for you to become a good student so one day you become a good teacher so that leads me into everything i got some notes for you guys unless you want me to stop now has this been enough already <laughs> no okay so last week we left off with a really important question we left off with the question of are you trustworthy 
So, so I'm going to assume that all of you are trustworthy in terms of like life. Are you trustworthy in ACN? Are you a good steward of the system? So this is an important progression here for this group, I think. Do you know how to take someone from a peak to a promotion to a paycheck? I think that's a really good question. Do you know how to take someone from a peak, that means you've peaked their interest, to a promotion to a paycheck? And I'm gonna come back to this in one second. So you guys, I have notes and I have like, they're diagrammed and I have like all kinds of stuff all over my books when I get ready to talk to you guys. So check this out. And you can write this down word for word if you want. If not, it doesn't matter to me, but I just want you to know my take. A sign of leadership development is the ability to develop independence. Okay? So I'm gonna say that again. A sign of leadership development is the ability to develop independence, okay? Next, dot, 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 that takes skills, dot, 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 which takes training, dot, 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 which requires a desire to do this, which requires a in capitals Y. So a sign of leadership development is the ability to develop independence that takes skills, which takes training, which was a which requires a desire to do this, which requires a reason why. Who wouldn't want to be the person that takes people from application all the way to a promotion? You guys, do you agree with me that that is an awesome part of what it is that we get to do? To take someone who has no idea what this is, not really understanding how this works, you happen to pique their interest, you take them through the process, and they get promoted, and they, and they, get, a, and they get a paycheck. This is phenomenal. But understand something, guys. That does not happen by plugging into a call with Mr. Thomas every day. That comes by plugging into a call with Mr. Thomas every day and then doing something once the call is done. See, see, see leaders can pour into us morning, noon, and night. L leaders can pour into us every single day, which is awesome. And, it, and we need to be grateful, right? And I'm not saying that you guys need to be grateful for me. I'm talking about Mr. Thomas. I'm talking about Julian Lewis. I'm talking about uh, Roxanne, I'm talking about all the regional directors, Natasha, I can't see everybody on the screen right now. But, uh, but here's, what I, here's what I know, is that leadership development is everything that ACN is about. We are in the leadership development business. And sometimes to develop a leader, there have to be very direct conversations. And so the, the kind of my theme with you guys this go around versus the last two go arounds, as I, I've said, I was gonna be very direct with you guys, is I have an obligation to Mr. Thomas. I mean, I have an obligation to you guys, but I have an obligation to him that I need to be able to give you guys a message that's going to advance your business. So if and when we come around and do another round of these things, whenever that may or may not be, you're in a different position. Then I know that this was time really well spent. Do you guys agree with that? Okay, so check this out. So, a sign of leadership development is the ability to develop independence that takes skills, which takes training, which requires an actual desire to do this, which requires a very big reason why. You are going to be forced to give things up along the way. By the way, it, it just has anybody has in any industry who's achieved anything substantial. right? Just like anyone has who's done anything substantial in any industry, they were willing to give things up because the vision of what they were doing was bigger than the, the whatever they were missing. Because they knew that that served a, a bigger purpose, so they never have to miss anything. You know, the old deal is freedom comes at a price, you guys, and, 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 and that's important to understand. So check this out. 
A sign of leadership development is the ability to develop independence that takes skills, which takes training, which requires a desire to do this, which requires a big reason why. So what did I say? I, say, do, I said, do you know, really know how to take someone from a peak to a promotion to a paycheck? Well, there's another one that comes after that. And this is, this is one of the greatest things. This is one of the greatest things in ACN, right? One of the greatest things in ACN. I'm gonna share with you right now. You ready? So you can, we're gonna add this on at the end. One of the greatest things that can ever happen to you as a leader in ACN is your ability to produce proof. Proof. So now how does the system go? Can you, as an up and coming leader, go from peaking someone to promoting them, to getting them a paycheck, now you have proof. You are documented. The system works. You are an example of this thing working. And that's what you want. So guess what? Sometimes you need to be proof yourself. You need to be proof yourself. You need to go, by the way, for some of you, let me tell you this right now, okay? So this is very direct. This is very, Mr. Thomas, permission? Okay, this is very direct, very direct. So listen to me, listen to me. You need to go out and get three or more customers before the end of the month. Don't you talk to people about going out and getting customers and you haven't done it. Don't talk to somebody about getting a $75 cab and you haven't done it. I mean, that's nonsense. That's nonsense. I had to do it myself. I do it. I try to do it every single month. Some months go better than others, but I will be getting a, I will be getting a cab this month for personal customer acquisition. So let me tell you guys something. You, you, you mean you guys I talked about this I think I think I talked about it last week or maybe it was in the last go around there is a monster difference between someone who is uh, um, uh, who's in the stands and someone who's on the field there's a big difference man because anybody can get on anybody can get in the stands uh, in in the ACN game 199 bucks and 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 a decision to hit submit and you're in the game I mean, let me phrase that. You're not in the game. You're in the stadium. You have a ticket. You have a you have a ticket to entry. You're good. You're good. And then you have access to people that are on this call, which is great. That does not make you a participant. That makes you an observer. So you guys need to decide. I mean, just make a decision. Uh, 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 my observing days are over. And you know what's crazy? When you punch your hundred and ninety nine dollar ticket into the stadium, into the ACN stadium. And then that's where you get to choose. I want you to imagine this, you guys. Watch this, let's just watch this, this is kind of fun. You walk into the stadium and it looks like this. You're walking in and everybody paid their $199 ticket. Now, you get to go one way or another. This way leads to spectators. So you get to be in there, you get to watch, you get to see everybody. You get to see everybody go through the crap. You get to see everybody go through the hardship. You get to see you get to see everybody go through go through the challenges. You get to see people get their noses bloodied up. You get to see people uh, have their parents tell them no, don't do this. You get to see people have their best friends saying, "I'm not I'm not following you. You did a thing," and and people at the top and one of those things. And uh uh, -uh. you get to watch all those people go through this. And then the other way to the right, to the right, you get to play, and you get to get bloodied up. And you get to have those successes and you get to have those challenges, but you're not going to do that alone. And you're going to realize, watch this folks, you're going to realize this group is much bigger than this group. There's way more people watching and spectating than there are participating. There are way more people watching and spectating than there are. You know why? They don't want to get sweaty. You know why? They don't want to be embarrassed. You know why? They don't want to be ridiculed. You know why? They don't want to be challenged. You know why? They, but here's a big one. They want to make everyone happy. They don't want to ruffle any feathers. Right? Let me tell you guys something. Those are, none of those characteristics live in a leader. They don't care. They don't care. They're going to do what is required. They're going to do what the job requires to get it done. Well, if we are in the leadership development business, you have to understand something. You have to be willing to get on the field if you want this. I'm not telling you to want it or not want it. I'm telling you that's what's required.
isn't it funny people talk about ACN? Like, I, I, know, I know all about ACN. Really? If they were on this call, let me ask you a question. How much customer acquisition have we done? None. How much recruiting have we done? None. This is a leadership development. Now, you all know, and let me be crystal clear, there is never, ever, ever any compensation in our company, in our comp plan until customers are acquired. But if we're talking about developing leaders, that, that's so we can teach people how to acquire those customers, how to build teams. So let's go back for a second. Let's go back to the four, the, the four steps here that I said. D does a leader, if you are a leader, you have the ability to peak someone, promote them, get them a paycheck, and now you have proof. Okay, so now check this out. How are you peaking people? Are you peaking people? That's a better question. <laughs> let's not worry about how you're doing it. Let's, let's worry about, are you doing it? Right? And we've talked about this. I'm not going to go into a peaking training, but I am going to tell you this. There are so many outlets to be able to make connections with people. So one of the things that I want you to do, in fact, I'm going to write this down. When you're peaking people, really the word I'd like you to put in there is connection. Are you making a connection with someone? Are you, and by the way, you cannot connect with them at your level. You need to connect with them at their level. And what I mean by that is where they are in life, what they're doing, what's going on, right? Do you have the ability to go out and pique someone's interest, right? You know, I'm not going to do a peaking training, but you might pay them a compliment. You know, you might pay them a compliment. You might ask them where they're from, right? Okay. If you're going to do all cold market, if that's where you are right now, look, cold market's great. I think everybody has a warm market. The only thing I'm going to tell you about that is I think everybody can expand their warm market daily. How do you do that? Go back to a place two times. <laughs> Say that again. You want to expand your goal, your cold market, go back to a place two times and get some recognition with someone there. You're now taking cold market and turning it into warm market there. I just shared with you one of my secrets. That's what I've done for over a decade. So, so do you have the ability to peak someone? By the way, if you don't have the ability to peak someone, you have to stop right there. We're done. We're done. We're done. Doesn't do any good. Doesn't do any good to put all the ingredients in the pie, but not have turned the oven on. You will have nothing. <laughs> right? There's a, and by the way, it'll be, it actually, it'll ultimately end up being a waste of time because you took all the time to make this pie or whatever it is that you're trying to put in the oven, but you never turn the oven on, you're done. So number one, you got to figure out peaking. Number two, you guys, this is a big jump. This is a big jump, so follow me. To go taking someone from peaking them to promoting. Well, what has to happen in between? Well, once you peak them, we gotta get them to a presentation. And once they see a presentation, you gotta get their questions answered. You gotta draw, you, do you, by the way, in between peak and presentation, how about this? Write this word down, let me do this as well. Playbook. So you peak them, and, and we want to go from peaking someone to promoting someone. How do we do that? Well, there's a playbook involved. Are you good at following the playbook? Are you good at following Mr. Thomas's system within the ACN system? Are you good at it? I don't know. You got to talk to him, man. You got to talk to him. I mean, I've, I've shared with you guys the system that, that I use and we use, and we're basically on the exact same page. You know, I mean, we really do have the same message. So you peak someone, you got to get them promoted. Well, what, let's talk about that, that, that transition. You've peaked their interest. They're open to look. Now what do you do? Now what do you do? Well, you got to get them to a presentation, right? So you got to get them to a presentation. So you peak them, you get them to a presentation. Once they see the presentation and they like it and they want to do it, do you know how to app someone up? Can you do it on Zoom? If you can't, you got to get with a leader on this call and say, listen, man, you got to show me how to get someone started on Zoom. Like if you, like if you don't know how to do that, you are, be, you are in, the, you're in the stands. You're in the stands. Let's get you on the field if you want to. I know a lot of you guys have your cameras on. Show of hands. Anybody want to get on the field? Right on. So how do we get them promoted? See, here's the issue. So let's say you've piqued someone's interest. They're open to look. You get them on one of Mr. Thomas's presentations. The, the, he or she says, man, this is awesome. I'm in. So now, boy, your work starts. By, by the way, your work isn't starting by, by, by peaking. <laughs> let's get something clear. Your work, your work starts in ACN when that person says, I'm in, and they hit submit on their application. Work time. Get to work. 
And that doesn't mean, hey, you go get qualified. You get those three services we talked about. Let me know when you got that done. I'm going to be here for you. That doesn't work like that. Not on my team. You set up a time and you do everything with them. Okay. So you, so you get together with your new person. They saw the information. Mr. Thomas does a great presentation, which he always does. The person is in, they join the team, they, they hit submit, they become a new business partner. You better have your playbook ready. What's your playbook? Whatever you're doing to launch someone. And understand the launch, the launch is for the new person. And here's a little side note, old Mike Basuti thing. I would never do it alone. I would never do a launch alone. Because if you're launching someone and you're taking the time to launch somebody's business, you're showing them the playbook. Don't do it alone. Teach someone what you're doing so you can start to duplicate. So now what's the goal? So in that launch, we want to help someone get what? We want to help them get customer qualified. We want to get them promoted. So what do you do? You, you let them know, look, my job is to get you promoted and get you paid. I have a game plan. Here's the playbook. Are you ready? You ready to roll with me? I want to go to work for you. Let's get you promoted and let's get you paid. And then I'll say something like this. How fast do you want to get your first check? How fast do you want to get your first check? What, and by the way, for the record, what do you think everybody says? Right away. Great. I have a game plan. Are you ready to follow it? How fast do you want to get your first check? I want to get it this week. Great. I have a game plan. I have the playbook. Are you ready? Great. Here's what we're going to do. My goal is to get you in the black within your first 30 days or less. So whatever we do, whatever we get, whatever we order, whatever, we, whatever services, whatever we do, my goal is to get you in profit in the black within your first 30 days or less. Are you up for this? And then they're going to start doing this. They're going to be like, oh my God, they're going to start shaking. I'm so excited. Yeah, let's go. What do we need to do? Okay. So then what I do is I draw out the playbook and guess what folks, I draw circles. Anybody who's ever been, I, I do, a, I do a, a launch call on Sunday nights. Anybody's ever seen it? My RDs, have to, they draw circles. I want people to see the simplicity of what it is that we're doing to get that promotion. Well, guess what happens next? What did I say comes after promotion? A paycheck. See, there's, no, there's nothing more fun. I wish I could screenshot this and show you guys. There's nothing more fun than getting your new person paid. There's nothing more fun than your new IBO getting their first customer qualified $75 bonus. Dude, dude, you did it. You got your first check coming in. You got those other couple of services. You got, one, you got $75 coming in this week. You'll have $125 coming next week. You are in the black. And guess what that provides, folks? Guess what that provides? Proof. 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 What you did from, so you guys, think about this. Work backwards now. What you did, the very first part was piquing someone's interest. You took them from a peak to a promotion to a paycheck, and now you have proof. The question is, how much proof do you want to have? How many of those stories do you want to make? You are in the business of making success stories. Listen, I'm not asking you to drag people with you. What I'm saying is for the people that want to do this, you are in the business of making success stories for these people. And people, people are going to follow you. But you have, to, you have to make a decision. You have to decide, are you up for this? Are you up, to, are you up for being that leader? That's why we did this. And you got to know what it, here, look, I can't, sh I can't teach you what to do until you know what to do. Let me explain that so, so it's not confusing. I can't teach you the specific parts of peaking and presenting and getting the playbook set up and the promotion and the paycheck. If you don't understand, that's the format that we're in. Like that, you have to understand kind of the, the logical progression of this thing. Now we're talking leadership. Now we're talking, you know what? I had a call with Mr. Thomas. Guess what I'm doing? I'm, while I'm out, while I'm out trying to have some version of my life through all this craziness, I'm peaking some people. Someone says, yeah, I, uh, dude, I'm definitely open. I want to get out of this. I want to get out of the restaurant for sure, but I can't right now. No, I get it. Look, I'm expanding a company out here. Are you open to evaluate this? About 30 minutes on Zoom. You know Zoom, right? Yeah, I know Zoom. Yeah, we do a quick overview. I'm working with, I'm working with a gentleman who is a senior vice president, and he's going to be giving the information. You got to see this. I'd love to get your what? I'd love to get your, I'd love to get your opinion. I'd love to see what you think. May or may not be a fit for you. 
So you get them on the call with Mr. Thomas and they're interested, right? Here's another word you can write down. A lot of P's today, process, right? That, 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 that enrolling and engaging and presenting, that, that there's a process involved, okay? So what you might do is peak, present, process, playbook, promotion, paycheck proof. But guess what most people, guess what most people don't want to do? This. They don't. Some do. The greatest thing that happens along the way when this happens is you start to develop a rapport and a relationship with that person. And when you start to get that new person's success and what happens is exactly what you said was going to happen, there's the proof they'll introduce you to everyone because you did it for them. They'll introduce you to everyone. They will open up their contact list for you when you get them promoted and paid. And that's a big opportunity, man. And by the way, with big opportunity comes big responsibility. That's a big responsibility and it's a big opportunity. The question is, are you gonna take it? The question is, is your reason why you're doing ACN <clears throat> bigger than all the obstacles. I mean, I have people, you guys, I have people on my team, I'm so busy, I'm doing this, I'm running here, I'm running there, I'm doing this, I got this going on, I got that going on, and I'm trying to make this happen, but you don't understand, and here's my schedule, and here's, I have multiple people that do that. You guys, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> this is the life we are in. It is, it is a busy, chaotic, crazy time right now. It's like, you know, look, I'm sure Joyce is busy. I'm sure Yoel is busy. I know Julian's busy. I'm sure Marie is busy, you know? I bet Luisen is busy. I bet Magley's busy. I'm sure that Daryl's busy. I bet Carolyn's busy. Like you guys, can we all agree everyone's busy? I got a plane flying over my head. They're busy. Like, look, it's not about being busy. It's about what you do with the little windows of time that you're choosing to do ACN. And that comes down to leadership development. Ultimately is developing skills. And that comes back to your reason why. Is it important enough for you to do? And if it's important enough for you to do, you'll do it. If it's not important enough for you to do, you won't. You know, one of the things that, um, one of the conversations that I had and I'm, I'm, and I'm done is, um, uh, it, okay, so, all right. It's not that people, when they join ACN, it's not that people don't want to do it. For the most part, that's not the case. Otherwise, they wouldn't have hit submit. It's just not a priority. It's just not a priority for them. All this other stuff becomes, it gets prioritized above this. And that's that's fine you guys listen to me that's fine it's just not fine if they keep saying they want acn to work so bad and how come it's not working well chit you know what you had to go and watch a you had to you had to stream and watch your movie the other night and and we were going to get together and do some some training and we were going to get into the back office and we were going to go to acn compass and we were going to do that together and you chose not to or you had to have date night okay like i get it i get it but when that you know you guys, remember I said this, remember I said this, I think this actually applies to life. Once is an accident, twice is a coincidence, three times is a trend. So ah, we're gonna get together, we're gonna change. I know, ah, you know, what? car, something happened, but okay, I get it, cool, no problem. Let's reschedule for Thursday. Okay, great. Thursday comes around, no, they're not there. They call you on Friday morning. Oh, you know, this happened, that happened. Ah, oh, dude, that, ah, oh. so, so here, let's, let's reschedule. And they should reschedule that third time and, they, and, they, and there's still another something. I got news for you. It's not another something. It's something that they came up with a reason to not actually do what they said they were going to do. And that's, by the way, is that okay? That's okay. But I want you guys to get good at discerning where to spend your time and who to spend your time with. So now what you could say after that third time, you could say this, listen, when you're ready to do this, I'm here for you. Hit me up. When you're ready to do this, hit me up. So, I hope that you all have a clear understanding of being able to take someone from a peak to a presentation to a promotion and now you have proof. And by, by the way, you know what's so great? 
Mr. Thomas inherently has that proof because you guys are on his team, but he wants the proof for you. He wants you to be the person that, 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 that uh, um, you know, you guys, the accolade simply give, gives you credibility and gives you edification to be able to help more people. That's what he wants. I know, I know him because I know, you know, as I've gotten to know him and, and, and his leadership style and his heart, he wants to develop leaders. But you guys make no mistake. Let me tell you right now, make no mistake. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I don't care what position you are in his team. If it's not you, he'll find someone else because that's what he does. And that person will be grateful that, that he found them. But let me also tell you this, he'd rather it was you. He'd much rather prefer that it was every one of you guys. And I can't give you one good reason why it shouldn't be. So Mr. Thomas, that's what I had. I hope it was helpful. I hope, uh, hope people got something out of it. Sir, I got a lot out of it. I'm sure they got a lot out of it. Thank you once again. Can we show Mr. Dean Torelli some, wow, some love out there. My God, come on, come on, come on. We do better than that. Come on. Everybody take your phone off mute unless you're driving. Come on, don't hide behind it. <laughs> Hey, I also want to thank uh, some hey, of the other leaders. Ms. Uh, Perla Bernal did a fantastic training this past Sunday. Go back to the Destiny International and watch it. She did a great training. I also want to uh, shout out to a couple other regional directors that we didn't give recognition to in the beginning. Mr. Curtis Evans from South Carolina, thank you so much for joining the call today. This young lady, Ms. Laquana uh, Bunkin out in San Diego, California, regional director. It's good seeing you back on the call today. Regional uh, director, Mr. Uh, uh, Herrera, thank you so much, sir, for being on the call today as well. Uh, regional Vice President Platinum, Ms. Jocelyn Dristel, joined us today. God bless you, dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And also failed to give recognition to some other RDs that popped on. Ms. Natasha Ismail, thank you, dear. Uh, for being on the call, Mr. Julian Lewis, thank you, sir. I, I missed a few of them on the way in. Uh, regional director, Ms. Rose Guerrero and Chris King. And by the way, tonight at 6 o'clock, right back here, Mr. Mr. Uh, Chris King and Ms. Rose Guerrero will be doing our 1 through 10 tonight to get people on the call. And last and certainly not least, regional director, Ms. Evelyn Phibbs out of Fresno, California. Thank you so much. Other dignitaries that joined the call while we are going to progress want to give them recognition and acknowledgement. So tomorrow morning, we have Mr. Byron Nelson. Tomorrow morning, Mr. Byron Nelson. Tomorrow morning will be our guest speaker, you know, all the month of August. And don't forget tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, we have Al's, 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 Al's happy hour tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Queen V, thank you from New York. Thank you so much for joining. Hey, thank you all. for Once more time, can we give Mr. Mr. Dean Torali another hand because he was just a great information tonight. Sir, we, we respect you. We thank you. And, and, and most of all, we thank you for your tutelage and also the idea that you open up your book and going in and gurgitating things that meant, meant a lot to you to bless our group and all the other groups across the country. People in from Japan, from Mexico, they're on the call as well as Australia. So thank you so much, Mr. Dean Torelli. If you can, come on back tomorrow night at 6. If you want to have a, co co a cocktail with us and have your favorite beer, your red <laughs> <Hey>. stripe. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, Mr. Thomas. You know, I, I apologize. I just saw that somebody had a question in the chat. So oh. they said they asked, they asked to repeat this. And it's really simple, you guys. Once is an accident, twice is a coincidence, three times is a trend. And all that simply means is that, that it, when someone shows you who they are over time, believe them, right? And there's only so much you can say and do to move someone into action, right? And, and, and your time is valuable. I'm not saying to cut anybody off. I'm just saying, know that you, I know that your time is valuable and I want you to believe that your time is valuable. And, and that's, that's really what it comes down to. So hope that clarifies it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Tonight at six o'clock back here with a one through 10. Uh, bring guests, bring guests, bring guests. And then tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, Mr. Byron Nelson will be our guest speaker at 9 a.m. And then tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, Al's happy hour. God bless, be safe. And like Mr. Dean Torelli say, go get some more customers today. Make some calls. Make it happen. Move closer to your goal by putting some calls in today. God bless. Thank you so much. <laughs>